What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we are reviewing a movie. Yes. And that movie is called Lost in Translation, starring Bill Murray, Scarlett Johansson, and directed by Sofia Coppola. You know what? Things upset you. You really are having a midlife crisis, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, 2003, I think, yes. it came out. Yes. Uh, so, first off, um, I don't know if spoilers well, wait, are necessary I... or whatever, but it's a We're old We're not going to do spoilers? No, like, well, because, like, it's an old movie, so I'm pretty sure people already saw this. Well, if you haven't seen it, spoilers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. In it. Just let them know that there will be spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, can can I tell them about my reaction when they found out that you hadn't watched it? Yeah. Movie? Okay. So who's this? <laughs> This guy, I, I don't know what we were talking about, but I told him that Coppola was one of my favorite directors, and I told him, he's like, I haven't even seen Lost in Translation. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how we're friends, She honestly. said, you know what, I'm not, I'm yeah. not doing the shows anymore with you. <laughs> we it's can't not, be friends. We can't be friends. We Erase be my friends. number. Yep. Whatever, everything. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, I was like, really? And, like, ever since I found this out, I've been on him yeah. to watch this movie. I was like, dude, so you I have to it. watch it. <laughs> yeah. I bought it, and I finally saw it this past weekend. Yeah. And then I watched it again, because, I mean, I've seen it a bunch of times, but I watched it again to have it fresh in my mind so we could talk about it. Yeah. But, um, so, overall, what did you think? Did it live um, up to the hype? I think so. <laughs> that doesn't sound so. like, like a, well, cause a It's because, like... I think it was too hyped, but I think I hyped myself down, you know? So, so you I, were it, okay. it met my expectations and a little bit more. Okay. And my expectations were kind of like high up there. Right. Because of every, what everybody kept saying to me. But yeah, um, I really like the film. I have some notes here. Um, I do too. Okay, so first off, I mean, you want to go with the scores or you want to nah, see we'll the Nah, we'll save it for the end. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so what, are, what can I say about this movie? I mean, I liked it overall. Um, Scar Johansson's so young in this, like even her voice is different. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, her but I, boobs were bigger, her ass was smaller. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> like, this, uh, I don't know, but anyways. Um, but yeah, I thought she was really good actually in it. I liked her, and Bill Murray obviously was great in it. Um, I like that these characters are kind of different. Like they're very, they're, they're practically the opposite, but they still come together, you know. They're different, but they're similar. Yeah, in a way, and um, I like that works for this film, you know, and how they're kind of feeling like, like him, he's like an actor and stuff like that, um, but he's kind of like over it, I guess, because there was this one scene and they're in there, like he was in the bar and some guys, hey, you're this guy, right? Mm -hmm. He's oh yeah, you know. Yeah, he was just, he's just like an aging actor. I mean, to give a little bit of background, it's about Bill Murray. He plays this like aging actor that's um, going to Tokyo, yeah. you know, and he meets Scarlett Joe. And Scarlett whiskey Joe's, commercial. Yeah. <laughs> and Scarlett Joe is like um, with her husband. He's like a photographer, right? Yeah. Uh, so they kind of meet up because she's like feeling lonely and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I agree. Like they're very different, but similar at the same time. Yeah. You know? And different I think that's parts what I of their it. life as well. She's young. He's he's like <laughs> right. older, right? Which I thought was interesting because that's what I wrote down. Um, that yeah, it's like kind of like you can relate regardless of what you're going through because we've all been there where she's at, where she feels yeah. like she doesn't know what to do. She's kind of just like feeling kind of lost. She's just recently married. He's feeling lost because he's already lived his life. You know, he's yeah. already been married for a lot of years. He's going through trouble in I think his marriage. Twenty-five or something. Yeah, so like it's relatable in either spectrum. Yeah. Because we've all been there in that situation. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yep. But um, what did you think of like the overall like, like the vibe or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was definitely kind of like even the soundtrack and even the the cinematography was really good. Like it's just like a lot of the shots, even like this one I remember, like when he's playing golf or something like mm -hmm. that. But uh, I like also that brings me to one of the points that I had here too that I like that it's mostly at night because you do see like the city of Tokyo and stuff like that, and it's like really really nice. And um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it de definitely had like this like melancholic vibe to it, you know. Yeah. And I, I kind of liked it though because. <laughs> You see these characters and like, I don't know, it's just something about the movie, like right when it started, has this little soundtrack too that comes in and out of the movie. Like it mm -hmm. just gives it that kind of vibe, but I really like it, especially for the film. 
Right. And um, it's not too sad, though. It's not too serious. There is some uh, comedy in it. And I think, obviously, mm-hmm. with Bill Murray, gosh, I kept cracking up, man. Like, when they were, like, trying to explain to him, like... Yeah. <laughs> like, how to say, like, he wants, okay, how do I do this? Like, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> the, the director says, like, so much. And the translation says, oh, okay, he said... Just do this. Said, yeah, just... Yeah be uh intense like some intensity and he's like yeah. that's all he said like oh my yeah. god like that was so funny and then again i think he's i don't know where he's like sitting but he's like trying to translate with some guy and you see the girls in the back like laughing at him because yeah. so, he's trying to like oh my god but anyways i, I like that that has a nice contrast of like mm-hmm. uh i guess dramatic and then the comedic mm-hmm. elements she adds it in yeah. yeah, I mean, I think Coppola, like, one of the things I love about her is, like, how she's, oh my gosh, she's amazing at creating atmosphere. Like, yes, the yeah, whole atmosphere of the, the film itself is just, like, amazing. Like, I feel like her parties, like, I want to go to her parties. Because, like, yeah. even, like, the party scenes, like, it looks like a party you want to be at. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just want to, like, be there and, like, chill and, like, I don't know. I think she's just great. Like, and you'll notice that throughout her other films, she's just amazing at doing that like i think she has a vision and she just goes for it you know and i think that's what i like about her the most another thing that i have on here is kind of to match what you said is that yeah the cinematography is obviously beautiful yeah and i love the fact that it's set in tokyo because i think it matches perfectly because if you kind of notice like it's kind of quiet where bill murray's at like in the hotel yeah scarlett joe she's more chaotic i guess in her life so it's kind of busy so it kind of matches it's pretty cool if you think yeah. about it that way because tokyo is a very chaotic city and you can tell that it's like that and it was cool too that it was set in the hotel <clears throat> i think mm-hmm. the hotel made it get have that vibe too yeah like more like laid back vibe and stuff like that yeah and um but yeah and then like like we said um i think they both have really good chemistry and they both were really likable characters yeah i mean i liked her character as well and bill murray obviously is always great um but yeah what was like um your like this was your introduction i guess to her directing style so did you overall like like it yeah i i I did a lot like that's what i was trying to say the atmosphere (laughs) earlier i was trying to describe (laughs) that um but yeah definitely she she's uh i'm I'm definitely interested in seeing her work based on this film and i'm I don't know why it took me so long to watch this, but I really liked it. Yeah. Um, but also, also one of the things that I like about the movie is that I didn't know what was going on with them. Like, I was like, wait, are they, like, kind of, like, you know, <laughs> dating or whatever? Like, the romance wasn't really addressed, you know? But, like, you, it was addressed, but it, then it wasn't, you know? Like, it wasn't saying, yeah. okay, cool, they're, like, you know, they like each other or whatever. And I kind of like that. And then, obviously, at the end, like, when, when he left and stuff like that. She um, kind of just leaves it up to your own, I guess, like, interpretation yeah. at the end to see what happened because he just kind of, like, whispers something and that's it. Yeah, that's, that's, the, thing, that's the thing. I was like, what did he say? Like, what the hell? I want to know. Like, I'll be back or something? We've or, been but... trying to figure it out for many, many years, but we don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, um, that was pretty much it. I mean, I really liked the film. Uh, I can't wait to see other... What is your next recommendation for her? from her to watch? What's interesting is this was my first film I watched of hers. Um, yeah, this was my first film that I ever watched oh, that she directed, and then I was, like, amazed by it, so I started investigating her, and I looked up all her movies or whatever that she had so far, and then right after this is when I watched Virgin Suicides, oh, okay. um, which you still have not seen. No, no. <laughs> so, um, I think Virgin Suicides is also an amazing The next film. Grade. so that's the next film I should see? Yeah, and then, like I had told you before, one of my all-time faves is Marie Antoinette, so yeah. it's up there for me. But, um, but yeah, like I said, um, I highly recommend that you keep watching her film. She's just great at just... She's and she has movie. one coming out, right? The, mm-hmm. the Big Gilded in yeah. this year, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, holy crap. I think it is this year. Yeah, but, this year. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to remember. I was like, is it this year or next year? But yeah, it's this year. It's my, one on my list, right? Yeah. yeah. it was on my list. But, um, but yeah, so what was your overall score? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Sorry, no, guys, you have to tell. I gave it an eight point five. Okay. Out of ten. That's pretty I really high. Like it. I'm telling you, like I really, That's really, really like it. Pretty high. I really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna give my score because people are gonna hate me because they're gonna say that I'm biased. So. Hey, it's your opinion. Score. It's your score. I know, but it's it's just, it's because it's like one of my favorites. So it's ten out of ten. It's I not think. a. I mean, oh, fuck. Like I can't give it a ten. <laughs> yeah. But if I, like, I don't know, like, it's just one of my favorites. So if anything, I'd probably give it, like, a good nine. 
nine eight point five or something. Mm-hmm, like yeah. me, my favorite film. If you guys don't know, is Watchmen. I give it a fucking twenty out of ten. You know? Really? Like, yeah. Like I know it's flaws, but like I based it pure on my you know yeah, 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 what yeah, I yeah. got from it. What I I kind of want to do like a. Anyways, that was our review <laughs> of House and Translation yeah. before we get off into any other topics. So let us know what you thought of the film, what your rating is, and uh, what other movies you recommend for me to watch uh, from Sofia Coppola. And uh, any other thoughts? No, just, I mean, if you haven't watched this movie and you like film, I highly suggest that you go watch this. Yes, please. It's a please. must. It's a must, must. But yeah, yeah. that was it. So we'll see you guys later. Yep, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.